Welcome to March Madness Minute number 22. Today we're going to look at YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google, so all of our staff already have YouTube accounts and our students do not. Those are turned off for students. So we're going to be looking at tips for a consumer, so if you're trying to find a new video, how you can filter, subscribe. Also, if you are creating videos, how you can upload and some editing features. So to start with, I'm going to YouTube. I'm at the home screen, and this home screen is just a list of videos you might be interested in based on other things you've watched. So I've watched some things on poetry, so here's some recommendations. And it is also going to mix in things that are popular on YouTube, and those may or may not be a great fit. So I can find a video here. I'm going to go to the top here and click on any video. Animals can be jerks. Oh, I don't agree. Faith in Humanity Restored. That sounds better. So there's some things I can do on this page. I can uh, kind of skim it and see if there's something specific I was looking for. I can find it that way. There's our volume, but there's also, maybe I don't have time right now to watch the video. I can click watch later and you'll see added to my watch later list and we'll look at where that is in a moment. If this is a really dense video with information, I might want to watch it in half speed or if it's got a lot of information I'm skimming for something really important I can go to double speed and skim it until I find that information and then there's different sizes if I want the theater size full screen and if you have something called a Chromecast I can click this button and wirelessly project it to my TV a Chromecast is about $35 it looks like a big thumb drive but it plugs with the HDMI into your uh, projector or TV if I really like this video, there's some other things I can do. I can click the thumbs up, and that's going to help it recommend other videos to me. And if I really like all the videos by this person, I can click the subscribe button. And now I'm subscribed. Sharing, there's a lot of different ways to share out information. I can just grab this link, put it in an email and share it. And let's see, this video was eight minutes long. Maybe there's something at the four minute and one second mark. If I click on this, the end of my URL, it knows where I want to take people and it'll take them right to that moment. I really like the embed feature though. This link right here is called an embed code and if you copy and paste it into WordPress, into your HTML tab, your video will show up right in WordPress and so it's not a link taking your students to YouTube the video will show up within your blog and that way you're not going to have all the advertisements that are distracting or have students go down rabbit trails they're going to stay right on your blog so I'm going to go back to our home page so we were just at the what to watch my subscriptions so I subscribed to that last uh, person there so these are new videos based on people I follow. So there's a stream of incoming videos. I also had a watch later, so I clicked on watch later. So, so these are all other videos that I've added to my watch later list. Now if you're looking for videos, um, I'm kind of interested in learning more about the Google On Air Hangouts. I can type that in and hit search. And it's going to bring me a list of videos and you might want to check out filters especially if you're looking at technology you want to make sure you're not finding videos from three or four years ago it could be really wrong information I might want to find something from this year and if I'm strapped for time I might really just want something that's under four minutes that's going to get right to the point so those are two filters that I often turn on and now I can find a video that's under four minutes and very recent and I can look that way. It's also good to see how many views did it get um, and that might help you with its popularity as well. So the other part of YouTube is you can be a creator and you can post your information there. So I'm going to click on my channel and here's some of the videos that I've created. So this is my stream, my home is the stream of my stuff. I can also look at videos to look at more videos that I have and these this shows some I can look at all of them and playlists so playlists can be my videos it can be other people's videos or a compilation of both some of my playlists are private like my just things that I've liked automatically go to a playlist um, this EdCamp one, I'm kind of working on it and finding some videos and putting them together for my own learning, so it's private. 
Um, but then I also have some that are public, so internet safety. So this one is kind of finished, so that's listed as a public playlist. So anytime you find a video, so if I go back to what to watch, if I really like this video, okay. I can fun. add it to, I might add this one to my Google Apps for Education list, and now it's on that list as well. So let's go back to my channel. And the part I think is um, the most powerful is the video manager. So in the video manager section, I can take a video. So I'll take yesterday's video, click on it. Welcome to March Madness. And there's some things I can do. So information and settings. This is where you can make it public or private. So let's see, we'll go down to basic information. So you can name your video, give a short description, you can add tags so people can find it. And public means anybody can, if somebody's searching for the word autocrat, they can find my video. Unlisted means I can share the link out with specific people and they can watch my video, but anybody searching isn't going to find it. And then private means only I can watch that video. Here's where I can also add it to playlists. And advanced settings, um, you can list the category, where you were when you took the recording. Um, there's some information here, but it's I, I don't think there's anything you really need to change. The other part that's really nice is enhancements. So I don't need to save these changes. Enhancements allow you to do all of your video editing within YouTube. So here I can take a portion and make it slow motion. I can take portions out of my video and trim it up. And I can even add multiple clips together and string them together into one video um, with this YouTube editor. There's also filters, other special effects. There's a lot of editing options right within YouTube. You can add audio, and the nice piece about this is it's going to be audio that is Welcome to March Madness Minute number free. 20. Um, that you can use and you're not going to worry if you use something like a paid if you use a song without paying for it and you upload it to YouTube as background your video is going to get pulled for copyright issues annotations allow you to add links within your video so if I wanted to say you know learn more about Google Forms I could put a little link here and take people to another video or if you want to point highlight something out like a, a button to push that's all going to be within annotations you can add notes uh, text all sorts of things here cards is something new they've just added I think within the last week I haven't used that very much um, but the information is good to know so you have the right settings your enhancements are nice if you want to edit your video and you don't have other video editing software that's a great place to go as well so that's just a little bit about YouTube on creating and consuming and I hope you enjoyed March Madness <laughs>